you guys, how's it going? It's Clary Berry and I'm here today to talk about Cardano. So we're gonna talk about Cardano ADA for uh, August 2nd through August 8th. Now, uh, this energy is a little bit different, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. So yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely going through a time period with ADA right now of completion. We are basically, uh, we don't have a lot going on beginning of the week here, guys. So whatever you see is how the last week ended, um, that's definitely going to be kind of how we're starting out for the first of the, the week here. On the fourth, we actually have the end of North Node Square Natal Neptune. And this is that time period. It's lasted. It's almost like seems like forever. It was just peaking in May and it's finally leaving us. And that energy, you know, has been... It's been hard in a way to deal with here, but it's also, um, it's like a double-edged sword, you know, like it's like the very thing that was making Ada so great is also causing a lot of frustration and has been, and it's going to be the end of that. August, you guys, coming into August, I was really surprised that this reading um, didn't look like crazy good <laughs> just not to burst the bubble on the rest of the reading here but um yeah it, it's it's there's this energy of maybe slight calm before the storm here but again this this aspect ending this north node square natal neptune ending for cardano is good that means all this pain all this strife all this going in circles and again it's the very the double edged sword came from it's the very thing that's going to make Ada great. You know, the, the attention to details here, the fine tuning, the thinking, the delays, all those academic papers, you know, doing things the right way. You know, this visionary energy is great, but it, again, it's also caused a lot of frustration and it has caused Ada in a way to be kind of secluded off in its own little, you know, area. Um, and not be at quite as loved and trusted as it otherwise possibly could have done, you know? And, and again, it's, it's just like that judgment of, oh, you know, you're just a thinker. You're just doing things, trying to make it, you know, you're, but you're not, this isn't ever going to work in the real world. Blah, like all those fears I, I feel like are going to have time now and a place and energy, you know, is going to be right for those fears to be able to go away because there's going to be movement here. But anyways, <laughs> this is just know that the end of this aspect is actually really good. And it's a stage of completion. We're going to see things moving forward after this and kind of get out of that visionary energy and into actual doing again, not just thinking, not just thinking about things that you're going to do in the future. We're going to be actually getting somewhere. So let's look at other energies peaking around the fourth, guys. Um, it's not always right on, especially if you're uh, in different time zones and whatnot. Um, can be a different day for you where things happen. Um, there's going to be some kind of issues going on, I think, a little bit of a theme this week with confusion, FUD, misunderstanding, you know, the fear, the uncertainty, the doubt. Um, it's going to be like kind of one of those things like going in a circle almost like, oh, this again. Oh, we're, we're back here. Oh, we're doing that again. Or like, again, just um, some maybe some possible outside sources creating some energy that it's not going to hurt Ada. I don't think it's going to be super down, but it's going to be more stable here probably on the fourth due to some of this FUD and whatnot that's coming through. So um, also peaking on the fourth, we have the sun, um, which is uh, in conjunct natal Neptune. Again, this energy is not super bullish. Um, Okay, it's it's here's what we're doing is gearing up. We're gearing up for for a little bit of a run here, because um, on the fourth it's kind of low energy sun. You know, sun in conjunct natal Neptune is like, you know, the thing you're gonna want to go go go, but then you're just not gonna, you know, eh. and there's almost like a like that sort of self conscious energy. Um, but I don't think it's going to last long. And again, I think coming on the fifth here, we might be coming into some hotness with Venus, Trine, Natal, Pluto. This can be, again, kind of the bigger picture. 
things, you know, shifting in, in, in bigger ways. And again, there's this theme of this newness, you know, again, this, this fulfillment that we've reached by getting to this 10 of swords, you know, and now making things change. Um, once things, once the ball starts rolling a little bit, but the beliefs are going to change even more. The thinkings are going to change even more and it's going to keep going. Okay, now on the sixth, we have Mercury in conjunct natal Pluto. Okay, this could be good for us. Um, people are somewhat easily distracted here, but there's a good energy fulfillment, um, almost kind of obsession, you know, with, with changing the world, you know, and doing things. And so it's like, try not to let yourself be too easily distracted, you know, if you're you know, promoting Ada or, you know, whatever, like working on it as a project. Um, but the, but the energy just generally, again, pretty good here, you know, pretty good and, and, and way transformational. Okay. Again, it's kind of this bigger picture because we have not only this Neptune, but this Pluto energy, Venus trinatal Pluto and Mercury in conjunct natal Pluto. Now an in conjunct does not have to be um, negative, and I really don't think this one is going to be very negative. In fact, we might have a really good day on the 6th as well. Okay, possibly even going into the 7th. Um, on the 8th, we have Mercury trinatal Saturn. So, you know, that's more of an of an of a downward energy. That's more of a, you know, serious and reserved. Although, you know, we're getting more kings here, and this could be some ego here. We could be doing doing okay. Now let's check out the ninth because I know this video is only supposed to go through the eighth, but again, there's not a lot. There's really not a lot to go by. That's why this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Okay. And so for the ninth here, we got sun uh, in conjunct natal Pluto. So again, you have this Plutonian energy where you may not think anything's happening. And again, this whole thing feels like calm before the storm to me. And I've also, again, already done the long-term Ada video. So go ahead and check out the playlist if you want to check that out and see just how excited I got about this summer um, for Ada, especially August and like September for Ada. So um, this is kind of that like gaining that steam to be able to push through. Um, the ninth, um, you know, maybe the eighth is going to be better than I thought with this, with this trine. Um, this could be this could be good, especially because it is at Saturn in Aquarius. So this might be good for Ada. Anyways, again, the ninth, we have some confusion and we have some, some issues that are maybe bound to pop up and happen. So it may not be the best um, day, but it's like, just keep on, you know, keep on doing your thing, keep on working. And um, sometimes that's the red, you know, it's uh, maybe the red days are good days to buy. <laughs> But uh, don't worry, I think on the 11th, by the 11th, and of course, we'll look at this closer at a later video, but I think we're going to have the 11th, I think is going to be a good day uh, coming up for, for Ada as well. So let me know what you guys think. Much love, many blessings, take care. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.